So many of you guys know trees are a pretty important thing to our family. Uh, they provide heat for us in the winter months. They can provide mulch for our flower beds and gardens, uh, provide bedding for our chicken coop, and they can also provide food, whether that's an apple tree or something like an oak tree that drops uh, acorns and then draws in the deer, which could then potentially have that deer end up on our dinner table. So our woodlot consists of mostly oak, ash, and poplar. Poplars seem to go down every time the wind blows. Uh, oak is susceptible to oak wilt, which is in our area, and ash is susceptible to the ash borer. Uh, the ash borer is down in the city, so I'm sure it's only a matter of time before it finds its way out here. So we're looking to start to diversify our woods a little bit so if something comes into place it's not going to just totally wipe us out. So we got a lot of trees that we're looking to start putting in place over the next several years. Uh, but to start things off we, we went down to drop my daughter off at our grandparents house. She's got a little event that's going on down there this weekend and um, we stopped at the store on the way back and I found a little chestnut tree. I'm not sure if a lot of you guys are aware or not but apparently chestnut trees used to be a big primary food source for deer before chestnut blight came in out of Asia and pretty much destroyed most of the American chestnuts. And since then they've done a lot of crossbreeding and stuff with the trees to make them resistant. So this is like a Chinese chestnut. It's supposed to be resistant to that chestnut blight. And um, I've been wanting to get one of these. I've watched a lot of hunting shows years ago when we actually had like cable TV or whatever. And you, you always saw the guys setting up food plots and stuff and they always talked about putting these chestnut trees in. So as soon as I saw that I jumped on it. So that's the project for today. Um, granted this is kind of a, a smaller little tree so it's got several years probably before it starts producing nuts but I'm very excited. So one thing I'm going to do is grab a little bit of soil out of our chicken coop run. Uh, that's kind of our composting area. This year we're going to build some more compost bins and, and get more of a production going here especially after doing our last soil sample reading and figuring out how deficient our garden soil is right now. Out of curiosity I went out and did a little soil sample reading out of that chicken coop run. Uh, with the hopes of everything being, you know, very plentiful, and it is, everything's very, very high in nitrogen and everything. Uh, the one thing, we do dump a lot of wood ash in there, and that soil is very uh, alkaline. So these chestnut trees prefer a little bit more acidic soil, so I have a little bit of sulfur that we're going to uh, sprinkle in there just to make that soil a little more acidic. <laughs> So I'm pretty excited about getting that chestnut tree in. I really hope it does well. We've had some years transplanting trees and they go really well and other years we struggle. Uh, the best time of year to actually transplant is in the fall or in the springtime. In the spring a lot of times they say as soon as you get a spade shovel in the ground you know once things have thawed out up until around the point where trees start budding out. So we got a little bit of time here in Minnesota. Um, hopefully we can make it down to a nursery here and pick up some apple trees. That's one thing we'd like to expand in a little bit this year. But if we don't get that done, we'll maybe look at tackling that this fall. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.